is Krog. I'm from a company called Empure, based in Berlin, Germany. Today we're going to show you our brand new Crestron Adagio 2 Pronto script, which will let you, the custom installer, use up to 10 Philips Pronto home controllers to control your Crestron Adagio setup. Right now we support the TSU 9600 and TSU 9800 from Philips, um, as well as a number of 10 Apple devices to also be used to control your Crestron Adagio setup. Let me show you how easy it is. First you need to log on to our website at www.ampure.de and download the latest Pronto script as well as a Crestron Simple Windows file. Uh, the latest version is the Clean Adagio 1.31 and the simple Windows file, you'll also find the recent file on our web page. Uh, the neat thing about our setup is that you do not need any Crestron programming whatsoever. How do we do this? Well, it's simple. What you do is, you put the simple Windows file onto your Crestron system. You use the Crestron toolbox to give your Crestron system an IP address. And once you've done this, you're finished. Everything else is done in the Pronto Edit Professional 2 software, and this is what I'm going to show you now. So yes, there is no Crestron programming needed, only a parametric input in the Philips Pronto Professional Edit software. Let me show you how it works. The first thing you need to do is set up the network settings. Put in your SSID, turn on and off your encrypt encryption, and put the system on DHCP or a fixed IP address. Since we support 10 Philips Pronto control panels, it is crucially important that you use, uh, if you use a fixed IP address, to keep track of your IP addresses uh, so you don't run into any conflicts using a fixed IP address. Once you've done this, let me show you how the structure of our setup works. The home page, which looks like this, can be easily modified by you, which means you can change any of these graphics, put in your own graphics, change the labeling, uh, do whatever you want to do. If you don't want to do this, if you want to stick with our design, we have chosen the Philips Clean Design, which is a default design that comes with your Pronto Edit Professional software. Um, so if you don't want to change anything, you could just leave it like that. And as you can see, we're shipping the unit with a setup of 24 zones. If you need more than 24 zones, we'd be happy to give you an individual proposal. So just send us an email to info at mpure.de. Let's take a look at the global parameters, which reflect what you just saw on the home page. So here you can see the zone numbers. Those are not to be changed. Um, and here you can see the actual zone names. A zone can be a room, an area, uh, whatever you want it to be. So let's say zone one would be our dining room. I'll just put in dining room. Zone two would be the living room. So I'll put in living room and I could do this for all the zones that I were to use. Again, you see we support 24 zones in the basic module. Theoretically, there's an unlimited amount of rooms that could be added to any Crestron setup. Once I've done this, I'm pretty much finished with the global parameter setting. If you are using um, another Pronto script module from us, for instance, the KNX EIB lighting control module, it would access the same global parameters. So you'd only have to uh, configure the zones once and then the zone names will be used in all your activities. So since the home page is not dynamically linked because you can change it, if you were to leave it like that, you'd have to enter the same room names that I just did in the global parameters. Uh, this was dining room and so forth. Once I've done this, I'm pretty much finished with the home page. So let's jump into our Adagio activity. Uh, as you can see, this, uh, those are the general parameter settings. What you need to do is enter the IP address of your Crestron Adagio system. Use a TCP port which identifies each individual Pronto. So uh, we, as you can see, we support up to 10 
Prontos that could be connected simultaneously to the same Crestron Dagio system and could all talk bidirectionally to the same system at the same time. Uh, the on-hold interval you put in, it's for uh, de uh, defining how fast or slow you want the volume to be cranked up or down in each individual zone. Then we have a parameter for the used zone pages. Uh, we have six zones on one page on the Philips Pronto. So if you leave it like four, you have uh, a total of 24 zones to be controlled. Since we're only using 12 in our setup, I'll change this to two. Two times six equals 12. Um, so I only see 12 pages. We'll come to uh, 12 zones. I'm sorry. We'll come to this in a little while. Um, activate last group. You can turn this on or off. What it will do is it will uh, turn on a group when you press a firm key on the home screen or in the group parameters. Um, I'm going to show you this in a little while too. If you turn it off, it, you'll just jump to the group configuration page without turning the zone on. Uh, you can also select whether you want to have the firm keys on the home screen to uh, be your group presets. If you want this, you leave it at on. If you don't want this, if you want your firm keys on the home page to control your lighting or whatever, you just turn the feature off. These values down here are the default values for each individual zone. So when we start up our system, loudness will be set to off. The default start volume for each room or each zone will be set to 30 and the max volume to 75. This can be individually adjusted uh, while using the Philips Pronto. So I'm, show, I'm going to show you how easy it is to define the start and max volume for each individual zone in a little while. When you're using the group pages, you have three uh, predefined volume uh, presets that you can uh, turn on or off. One is going to be the standard, which is going to be your start volume of the room. One is going to be low, and here you see the low difference that will be subtracted from your start volume and the high difference that will be added to your start volume. So you can as well as change the start volume also change the low difference and the high difference accordingly. Once you've done this, you're finished with setting up the general parameters. You now need to configure your sources. The Crestron Adagio system supports up to 10 inputs um, that in our setup could be anything you like. So let's say this is TV. Let's say this is camera. So these could be uh, the closed circuit TV cameras that I'm using and so forth as well as the group set up on this page, which are again the uh, five groups that you can access and turn on and off. Uh, those, we have five because we do have five firm keys. So each firm key can um, recall or save any uh, group setting. I'm gonna show you this in a little while too. So let's say group one is all zones and group two is just the uh, living area. And this could be kids, guests, whatever. Okay. Once you've done this, you're finished with the sources and groups. You now come to the zone configuration menu. Uh, what you can do here is you can actually uh, enable or disable any of those 10 inputs from the Crescent Adagio system to be accessible in each individual zone. Okay. So if you have an audio stream, for instance, where you don't want your kids or guests to be listening in, you could just erase the X and you will not be able to access this source in this zone. You can do this for all 24 zones. Once you've done this, you're finished configuring your Adagio uh, configuration.